On last turn, we have studied the formula to calculate simple interest that is P into R into T upon upon 100 where P is the principal, R is the rate of interest per annum, T is the time period and SI is the simple interest. Now today we will study how to calculate different values that is principal rate, time and simple interest using this formula. Let us start with an example. A man borrowed rupees 7200 from a bank for 3 years at 18% per annum. Then find the interest and the amount he will have to pay after 3 years. Now in this question you can easily see that the man borrowed rupees 7200. Therefore we can write that the principal is equals to rupees 7200. Now you can see that he has borrowed this money for 3 years. Therefore the time period will be 3 years. And the rate of interest that is R is 18% per annum. So we have to find the interest and the amount that he will have to pay after 3 years. So in this question we have to find not only the interest but also the amount. So we know how to calculate simple interest that is SI is equals to P into R into T upon 100. So we will substitute the values we have P as rupees 7200 rate is 18 percent then time period is 3 years whole upon 100 and if we calculate it it comes out to be rupees 3888 now this is the simple interest that is the interest so first we have done the first part now we have to calculate the amount also and we know that the amount is equals to principal plus the simple interest. So the principal is rupees 7200 and simple interest we have calculated just now that is rupees 3888. So it will be equals to rupees 11088 that is 11088. So our amount is equals to rupees 11088. This was the question where we have to calculate the simple interest and the amount. Now let us see an example in which we have to calculate the time. If you have rupees 2400 in your account and the interest rate is 5% per annum after how many years would you earn rupees 240 as interest in this question you can see you have rupees 2400 and the rate of interest is rupees 5 percent and we have to calculate after how many years that is we have to calculate the time and the interest that is you would earn rupees itna as interest therefore simple interest will be rupees 240 so in this question the data given is that is uh, we are given the principal that is equals to rupees 2400 rate that is equals to 5% per annum then 
we have the simple interest that is equals to rupees 240 and we have to calculate the time period now we know that the formula to calculate time the formula to calculate time is equals to simple interest into 100 whole upon p into r now this will be equals to simple interest we have rupees 240 into 100 whole upon principal is rupees 2400 rate is 5% now if we calculate it it comes out to be 2 years hence the time period after which you will earn an interest of rupees 240 on the on the rupees 2400 is 2 years In next type of question, we have to calculate rate of interest. What is the rate of interest which yields an interest of rupees 280 on a sum of rupees 5, 6, triple zero that is 56,000 for two years now you can simply see here that we have to calculate the rate of interest and the interest we earn is rupees 280 and the principal that is the sum which we have on which we have earned the interest is rupees 56,000 so we know the formula to calculate the rate First of all, we will write the values which are given. Principal is equals to rupees 56,000. Rate of interest which we have to calculate. Time period is 2 years. And the simple interest that we earn is rupees 280. Now, the rate of interest is equals to SI into 100 whole upon P into t so if we substitute the values simple interest is rupees 280 into 100 whole upon principal is rupees 56000 and time period is 2 year now if we calculate it, it comes out to be 1 by 4 so therefore rate is equals to 1 by 4% so we have studied how to calculate the amount, the in simple interest. Then we have, uh, we have uh, seen how to calculate the time period. Then we have just now see, seen how to calculate the rate of interest. Now if we have to calculate the principal, then how can we, uh, how will we do this question? Let us understand with the help of an example. If on a certain sum, The interest paid after three years is rupees four fifty at five percent rate of interest per annum. Find the sum. Here in this question, you can see that on a uh, certain sum, that is the sum that is the principal which on which the interest is earned is not given. So we have to calculate it. The interest paid after 3 years, that is the time period here is 3 years and the interest paid is Rs. 450. Also the rate of interest is 5%. So first of all we will write the values which are given. Principal is not given. We are given the time period that is for 3 years. Then we are given the rate of interest that is 5%. Then we are given the simple interest that is rupees 450. Now we have to calculate the simple interest. Now we have to calculate the principal. So principal will be equals to simple interest into 100 whole upon time period 
into rate of interest. Now we will substitute the values that will be equals to 450 into 100 whole upon 3 into 5. Now if we calculate it, it comes out to be rupees 3000. So the principal is rupees 3000. Now one more question. What will be the rate at which a sum becomes 4 times of in 15 years at simple interest. Now in this question what will be the rate that is we have to calculate the rate at which the sum becomes 4 times itself in 15 years. So here we are getting 4 times the sum that is after 15 years that is after 15 years we are getting an amount which is equal to 4 times the principal since it has said that the sum becomes 4 times itself so whatever we have deposited it has become 4 times so we have deposited P and it has become 4 times now now in this question we have to calculate rate and we know that the formula to calculate rate is equals to simple interest into 100 whole upon time into principal but neither we have given principal nor we are given the simple interest we are having only the time but we also know that amount is equals to principal minus the SI or we can say the SI is equals to amount minus principal so amount is 4p that is we have written just now and minus p that will be equals to 3p so we can say that the simple interest is 3p now we can easily substitute the values that is rate will be equals to simple interest is 3 times p into 100 whole upon time period is 15 years into p so p will get cancelled by p and 3 will cancel 15 5 times and 5 will cancel 100 20 times so the rate of interest so the rate of interest will be equals to 20%